close this off for a closet. First I put in a top plate so I have something to nail my studs to. I've got layout marks on the bottom plate. Instead of putting them on the top plate, I'll just use my level and mark it in place. This area under the stairs is too good to waste. It's a good spot for a half bath or a closet. It also makes for a nice private space used as a library or just shelving. That ought to do it. Okay. I've finished all the framing and I've left a large hole for access to the underside of the stairway. I've designed this stair so we'll have 36 inches from the inside of our finished skirt board to the center line of our balustrade. That's from here to here. As you can see, we'll need treads which are a little longer than 36. The placement of our cut carriages was determined by how the finished treads and risers will fit in to the newel post. I put a notch in the subfloor and the hanger board to make installation of the newel post easier later on. An important thing to note is the center line of the balustrade is also the center line of the newel post, and in this case is also even with the front face of our riser. There's a lot more about all these details in the book. And now I'm going to go route the mortises in my skirt board for my finished risers and treads. Mm -hmm.